If you're looking for a way to organize your customers, clients, and sales leads, basically create a CRM in Evernote, this video is for you. Hi, my name is Jennifer Majors, and joining me today is Renzo Salas. We both serve on the customer success team here at Evernote, serving customers just like you all over the world. Renzo, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Jen, for having me here. Hi, everybody. Hi, all our community. That's right. I'm used to helping users here in Europe and Latin America. So if you speak Spanish, bienvenidos, y espero que esto les ayude. Renzo, you've created a workflow specifically around structuring customers and clients within Evernote. Why is this important for everybody to learn this? Why are we going to go through this today? Yes, I think this is valuable. Well, it was valuable for all our customers for some sales teams are working like this. And I think it will be valuable as well to all our community. That's great. Let's get into it. Okay, before we get started, we just wanted to highlight one quick thing. Renzo is going to be demoing out of the Evernote business account today, but any Evernote user, no matter what subscription level you have, I believe you will be inspired. Just like Renzo said earlier, it doesn't matter what type of Evernote account you have. This is something we believe will work really well for you. So let's see what Renzo's up to. So Jen, let me share my screen with you. So you, can you see my screen? Yes, I can. So this is the end result. This is the end result. How this is another way you can organize uh, your clients. So we are organizing here our notebooks per territory. The classic way to organize our clients probably you will see uh, one client, one notebook, and all the notes there is uh, about that client. But we are proposing another thing here. We are organizing in this way through, uh, well, per country in this case. Yeah, and I like how this looks in this space. Again, in Evernote business, when you have spaces, I love the dashboard. I can see things quickly up top and it just, it does look really clean. Yes, so let me explain you how, 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 how you can get this. So as you can see here, the space is Europe customers. So I put this and I was creating a notebook for each country and I repeated again, Europe customers and go to the specific country, Europe customer, Austria, Belgium, and so on and so on. Why? Because that gives us uh, the organization of all our notebooks. It is good that we have our naming conventions for all, for our journal, but what about if we are working in a team? What about if I have to share all this content with a, with a team? So I need to put it understandable. And also here, once I share it, I, everybody will see the notebooks together. So you can have a lot of notebooks and I will have the Europe customers all together here so I can uh, group them in the stack. Yeah, this is great. Especially again, if you're an Evernote user, and you're not in business, again, this is how you would see it in your notebook list. So the grouping of everything, I think works really well. Yes, so this is one benefit of our working like this. The second benefit will be in the notes. So as you can see here, I repeated again, Europe customer Austria, Europe customer Austria, and the name of the company. And just a disclaimer, none of these companies, well, of this company exists, this companies exist, but none of them are our customers. So just so you know, uh, Quick or Renault or I don't know Ferrari is not that uh, they are not our customers. But if you're watching, call us. We will love to have you as a customer. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So yes, and the reason of this is also to find our information quickly. So the first benefit is to all our notebooks will be together in our list of notebooks. And why I'm using this is because we are, have a technique to find your information quickly because Evernote has a powerful search tool. But sometimes if we have a lot of information, Evernote is able to give you a lot of notes with the same word. Yeah, that's right. I, I can't wait to see what you're gonna show. I can't wait for everyone else to see because I already know what you're gonna do, but. 
<laughs> yes, I like to explain this in my demos for all of our customers that I had the chance to have a demo with me. I like to call this the James Bond moment. So the James Bond moment is uh, here in Europe, customers UK, we have our node here, MI6. So we have MI6 here. Again, MI6 is not our customer. We have no registered agent, M is our administrator, and James Bond is not the power user. <laughs> but I told you, if we, uh, Evernote has a powerful search tool. So if I put, for example, Bond, let's put there Bond. So in this case, I have uh, like a 12 nodes with Bond, Bond, many, many Bonds. And I think it should be, uh, I think this one will be the MI6. So as you can see, if I write the word Bond, it gives me, I will, I will a hit Bond. If we have a picture, as I have here, a bond will be highlighted, and I think I have another bond here. So, as I told you, Evernote is able to find anything. So, if you would like to find a specific uh, information, I will suggest to use the title of the note, not just about the topic of this note, but something that can help you to find this note. So, for example, on this MI6, I will put, I will remember MI6 with James Bond. So I'm putting James on in the title because I could be, I don't know, my uh, point of contact with this customer. So I will go to the search field and this is something that our customers will like. You can use this operator in title, in title to that and the word that uh, you have in the title. This operator will give you the results of the word that is in the title. So in this case, we will search bond. So I think bond is the only node that we have here and voila, bond is right here. So you can use uh, the title of the node, not also of the, the theme or the topic of your node, but also to find your information quickly. I love this James Bond moment because you just showed everybody, I don't know if you realize this, but advanced search syntax, which makes our search so powerful, but using in title and many other keywords can help you find very specific notes within Evernote. And so we are going to link that article in the description box below, but Renzo, I absolutely love this. Yes, and also if you would like to communicate this with the rest of your team, I will suggest to have always a notebook for the, for the team. So here I have here this template, and this is a template that we use, for example, for MI6. And as you can see here, we have the instruction. So feel free to use this, uh, this uh, naming convention for, uh, for your leads, for your customers. And if you need to put something else, I will suggest to put it there. So uh, your team members just need to save as template and everybody will be in the same page, how they need to fill this template and how they need to add more uh, customers or clients to your company. Yeah, it's one of the great things about Evernote is the templates feature, right? Not only do we provide, the company provides you with a gallery of templates, but you can create your own. So make templates um, work for you, create them as you need them, and then save them. And they will be in your, in the my templates, in your own gallery, and your team can duplicate those and also save them to their templates. Yes, yes. Jen, do you want to see how this works in action? I do. Let's see it. So let's say that you are working for MI6 and you are Agent J, okay? So we are working here in MI6 and we come here to the part of meeting call notes. So all that you have to do, and I have here an instruction, most recent call at the top. So you can just add a row and put, for example, we will put the, the date of today. So we will put something like, a, you know, the date of today and we will go and we'll put agent J mm -hmm. and we'll put my notes, you know, the demo for Evernote as CRM. Oops. <laughs> and uh, you can put all your notes here. So, and so on and so on. You can put here the next steps, attachment or links. If we, for example, we are using Zoom, you can put your Zoom link here, the recording session or your presentation, you can put it here. So 
all will be all ref, uh, all respected all the information about this client will be in one page and will be available for everybody and also I since i'm Go using ahead. in this case yes if i'm using here in the space everybody will see that for example i'm working with this note so everybody will be synchronized yeah i love this i was gonna say in the note you were just sharing you could see the rich links, those YouTube, you know, video just kind of shot in there. And I love that about um, our notes and Evernote. There's just so much versatility. It's so dynamic. There's so many different things you can have in one note. And so I definitely use this a lot, this sort of format of doing the templates and adding in the rows. So I think this is very, very helpful for those that are, are constantly adding to notes. Renzo, that was amazing. Thank you so much for walking us through that. Let's do a quick recap of some of the things that you showed us today. So we talked about tables and creating templates. You touched on spaces. If you're an Evernote business user, you talked about stacks. We talked about, oh, I don't even know if we've called this out specifically, but OCR. Again, what makes Evernote search so powerful is that optical character recognition. So if you have pictures, documents, anything scanned into Evernote, search will be able to find it. I think that is so cool. No, thank you. Thank you for having me here. And if you and all of our community have clients or customers, go ahead and organize your notebooks per territory and standardize your naming convention. Your organization and all your team will thank you about that. And if you have if you have any workflow, any feedback about us, or you are looking that we talk about something else, please reach out to us to customer success at evernote.com. That's right. But before you go, like this video. If you learn something new, if you want to see more like it, because we have more content prepared to share with you, we are going to put some articles in the description box below. And you know, why don't you subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. Until next time, cheers to productivity.